Robert Downey Jar focused on what he called the most terrible thing that consistently happened to him. At the point when I was unable to get level-headed, he told me not to surrender trust and he encouraged me to track down my confidence. That's what he said, assuming I embraced the desert flora sufficiently long. I'd turn into a man of a few lowliness and that my life would take on another significance. All he asked in kind was that sometime or another I help the following person in some little manner. Robert Downey Jar has as of late gotten serious about the most obscure time in his life and how Mel Gibson stepped in to save him from Hollywood and life overall when no other person would. How about we plunge into the mind-boggling story of recovery and fellowship between the two Hollywood legends? At the point when Robert was going through the worst situation imaginable in his vocation throughout everyday life, Mel showed up and offered him help, directing him through the Hollywood that had betrayed him. Also, ultimately, he had the option to clear his plate and begin once again. Robert Downey Jar focused on what he called the most terrible thing that consistently happened to him, and that was the year he enjoyed in a correctional facility in 1999 regarding a DUI capture. In a new, sincere discussion on Dak Shepard's Easy Chair Master Webcast, Robert Downey Jar shared the tragic subtleties of his fight with substance misuse and the year he spent in the slammer because of a DUI capture and cocaine ownership charges. He drilled down into what he called and sees as the most awful thing that consistently happened to him. Furthermore, that was in 1999, the year he needed to invest energy in jail regarding a DUI capture while possessing unlawful medications. During the digital broadcast, the Iron Man star discussed his previous substance misuse issues and being over-condemned by a furious adjudicator who sent him to North Kern State Jail in Delano, California. California. The Hollywood correspondent announced, Robert additionally focused on the profound cost and the difficulties he looked during this troublesome period, uncovering the unforgiving truth of his time in North Kern State Jail, where he was sent subsequent to neglecting to show up at a few court-requested drug tests. Downey ended up in this climate 14 days subsequent to neglecting to show up at a few court-requested drug tests attached to a cocaine ownership charge. He said 14 days after the fact, I'm in a spot called Delano, which is a getting focus where they choose where you will go. Seemingly the most hazardous spot I've at any point been a major part of my life since no one is assigned, Downey proceeded. On the off chance that they're a level one, two, three or four lawbreaker, Everybody's there. Robert made sense of that, the air at the middle felt malevolence, and it seemed like being in a downright horrendous neighborhood with no open door except for bountiful dangers. He likewise discussed how cautious he must say, indeed, everybody will take your wallet. So heads up. The Hollywood star portrayed the perilous climate and the sensation of sadness, making it likened to being on a far-off planet with absolutely not a chance home. He said, Strolling onto the yard that you will accomplish over a year on interestingly. The nearest thing I can relate it to is being shipped off a far-off planet where it is absolutely impossible that home until the planets adjust. The Wonder Star likewise made sense of how he endured the experience, saying they were customized to inside a short measure of time have the option to conform to things that are apparently unimaginable, and that for him, there's more regrettable things that might have occurred than being shipped off an organization. In any case, he proceeded to say that going by what he knows, he was totally certain going to jail was the most exceedingly terrible thing that has at any point happened to him. Robert Downey had begun spiraling wild in 1996 when he was captured for driving impaired and the police found he was in control of heroin, cocaine, brake, and a 0 0.357 Magnum. In 1999, he was condemned to burn through three years in the California Substance Misuse Treatment Office and state jail after he missed a few court-requested drug tests attached to his capture. Be that as it may, he wound up just serving a year subsequent to getting early delivery in 2000 on the state of posting bail. Sometime or another I help the following person in some little manner. It's sensible to expect that at the time, he didn't envision the following person would be him. It was only after Mel Gibson was going through the very experience as Downey that we understood that the individual who saved Downey was Mel, on the grounds that in a strong discourse at the American Cinematheque Grants, 
Downey Jr. openly upheld for Gibson's reclamation and absolution from Hollywood. It was then that he shared the tale of how Gibson's help and support assisted him with embracing his haziest minutes and turn his life around. He guaranteed that Mel Gibson took a risk on him when no other person would. At the point when I was unable to get clear-headed, he told me not to surrender trust, and he encouraged me to track down my confidence. He had battled with fixation for a long time, making sense of in the narrative senior that it took him 20 years to set his life up in the wake of growing up with his dad, Robert Downey, SR, who was additionally a junkie. Downey, Jr. has consistently given a ton of credit to his significant other, Susan Levin, for assisting him with getting clear-headed. In any case, she wasn't the one in particular who loaned some assistance. Mel Gibson didn't simply assist Downey with getting clear-headed. He additionally stepped in to assist him when he was unable to land with working in the last part of the 90s. Downey's checkered history implied that creation organizations were careful about him and required consummation bonds assuming he was cast to ensure the task wrapped up. In any case, Gibson paid Downey Jar's protection bond with the goal that he could chip away at the 2003 film The Singing Analyst. Also, with this assistance, Downey Jar got once more into work when Robert Downey Jr. was respected in 2011 at the 25 The American Cinematheque Grants. He requested that Mel Gibson present his honor and utilize the potential chance to advocate for the then-shamed Gibson. Gibson himself had gone through a decrease in 2006 when he was pulled over for driving alcoholic and conveyed an enemy of Semitic tirade. His spiraling went on after he wedded Oksana Grigorieva who later asserted she experienced homegrown maltreatment because of Gibson. What's more, he confessed to misdeed battery. To exacerbate things for himself, Mel was additionally recorded expressing bigoted things towards individuals of color and more contemptuous things about Grigorieva. In the long run, Gibson was projected out from Hollywood, having gone through something almost identical and having been offered a hand by Mel Downey chose to bat for him. Thus he started his acknowledgement discourse by saying, I requested that Mel present this honor to me for an explanation. Since when I was unable to get level-headed, he told me not to surrender trust, and he encouraged me to track down my confidence. It didn't need to be his or any other person's for however long it was established in absolution. Downey Jr. Then, at that point, recounted to the crowd the tale of how he was unable to get employed, and how Gibson cast him as the lead in a film that was initially expected for Gibson himself. What's your interpretation of the kinship between the two Hollywood legends? Let us know in the remarks segment. In any case, we should not fail to remember that this video depends on hypotheses and sentiments and ought not be viewed as realities. Much thanks to you for watching and I'll see you sometime later. Farewell.